history is replete with societies that have emerged with the promise of a, a hopeful future. And uh, obviously, uh, most of them failed. As long as there is oppression, there have to be those who uh, fight against it and resist it. I'm Yelena Demikovsky. I'm a director of the film, uh, documentary film, Black Russians, The Red Experience. I'm Sam Pollard, executive producer on the film, Black Russians, The Red Experience. Long live our Soviet motherland, built by the people's mighty hand. Long live this film is about dreams and dreamers. Those who believed they and their families deserved a life better than lynching and segregation. Long may our crimson flag The film brings the history up to date. The descendants reveal how these events have shaped their lives, how they were affected by the Cold War, the breakup of the Soviet Union and rising nationalism, and how this compares to the dreams of their parents and grandparents. We have three main characters. Mary Louise Patterson. My parents had me after they'd had a number of adventures, one of which was they both separately went to the Soviet Union. Елена Ханга. Мои бабушка и дедушка приехали в 28 году из Америки, из Нью-Йорка в Советский Союз. Они бежали от расизма. Мой отец ехал сюда из Америки за своей мечтой. И он реализовал свою мечту. Он стал здесь достаточно известным, снимался в фильмах. I grew up in the Soviet Union and saw movies with the black actors and had no idea they were of American origin. found that in societies where class was more important than color, that they had a better chance of feeling more like they were whole human beings. They were offered uh, the kinds of salaries and the kind of living and uh, working arrangements uh, that uh, they couldn't even imagine having back home. There were also some very well-known people who didn't stay in Russia but were very attracted to Russia like Langston Hughes, Claude McKay, and Paul Robeson. was this new society saying, we're different. It was kind of like a, a beacon, a light shining there. Their capacity to highlight American racism becomes very important to how civil rights in this country develops. He was fighting for the freedom of, of African Americans for full citizenship in this country. There was on the one hand Soviet propaganda, and then there was the reality of life in the Soviet Union. They could be very welcoming to Claude McKay at the same time that they've opened the Solovki concentration camp in the north. Black people left America rushing into Russia to find hope and to find a new society, only to wake up at the end of a long journey to find a lot of tragedy. Они все равно остались верны своим идеям. We have to have ideals, even if they are judged harmful by corrupt governments. The story of black Russians is waiting to be told. It has a relevance to what the world experiences today. It shows how people, making difficult choices and facing the unknown, driven by their dreams, can live inspirational lives and change the world. Hold fast to dreams. 
For if dreams die, life is a broken winged bird that cannot fly. Hold fast to dreams, for when dreams go, life is a barren field frozen with snow. We are in the post-production phase. We just have to actually edit the film and it will be complete. Some great people working and involved in the project. We have a team in the UK, Chris Hastings from the UK and Nigel Edwards from the UK. We also have a regional composer from Russia. Plus we have some wonderful DPs that have been shooting for us. So we now need your support for the post-production and the editing process. Then we can show the film around the world so people will know this part of history. If we can get your support and your donations, so we would really appreciate anything you can do to help us. We are the gatekeepers of truth. We tell stories. I think it's an important story.